the Pilates Show Monday, outside the Pilates studio, where we take our Pilates brain and body into the real world. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about hopping and bouncing. All right, so before we get up and start to do even gentle hops and bouncing or plyometrics or whatever you're gonna do in that realm, I think it's really nice, especially if you're a beginner at this, to use our little new favorite tool, the ribbit, on the feet. So this is a, a vibrational tool that really helps to um, organize the fascia in our body and to help create uh, blood flow and lubrication. So you just turn on the ribbit and you just go to town on the bottom of your foot. You can also, we're not going to do this today, but you can also use this on the top of the foot and all through the lower leg and the knee, if you have time, into the upper leg and hip, you could spend all day with the ribbit, right? But this is such a nice, gentle way to start to organize the fascial tissue and create that much needed lubrication. All right, so you would do both feet at the minimal. You're just gonna do the bottom of the foot. You can always stop along the way. And I want you to all be looking out for the ribbit workshop that's gonna be coming up. Really, really excited about everything that we can do with this little ribbit in the Pilates studio. Now, of course, you at home would do both of your feet with the ribbit. All right, and then after your feet are all supple and alert and ready to go, then you can start, and again, if you're a beginner, you wanna go at the super slow. So you would start with your super slow ninja hops. Really paying attention to the articulation of your feet and really sending your impulse and your energy down into the floor before you spring up. And you wanna go as softly as possible. I have my dad doing these, these super slow ninja hops just to build him up eventually, he's not there yet, but eventually to a more rhythmical hop, right? So that your body responds in a quicker way. And by the time that someone's at this rhythm and speed, right, they've been really cueing the crimp in their fascia and so that crimp in the fascia has come back, that childlike body, so that they can really have fun and feel like this is really effortless, you could do this forever, you're not feeling like you have to work through your musculature, just through the yo-yo of your body. Thanks for joining us, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site.